Hey guys, Ryan here, SP's Gym. Uh, boy, let's talk about what's been going on for the past couple of days. Ryan versus the UAL, apparently. Um, I've had some back and forth with them. I don't know who's running their page, but uh, it's been kind of funny the way things have been working out with them. Uh, I point out that they're posting a lot of memes, but not really doing anything in the way of promoting tournaments. And they retort with posting a video of me losing to Tank. Well, guess what guys, if you knew anything about arm wrestling, you'd know that every single arm wrestler there is out there that has put their arm on the table has lost at some point, and it's probably not that hard to find a video of that happening. I don't care if your name is Travis Badgent, Devin Larratt, Dave Chafee, there is a video out there of you losing a match. So, you guys didn't cut me all that deep. Tank's also a really respectable competitor. I don't, uh, I don't want to I'm not embarrassed to have lost that match, and uh, I don't have any excuses because that was years ago, but whatever, it is what it is. You know, you will, I'm going to keep busting on you, and I'm sure you're going to keep busting on me, and hopefully we don't get too serious about it, we can have some fun with it. Um, now I want to talk to you guys about peaking. Somebody asked me, what, how do I peak for a tournament? Well, peaking for strength is basically ramping up your intensity to a certain point, and then you end up tapering off before the meet. So for me, everything is thought out, everything is planned. I put my practices on a Thursday, so the Thursday, the week before the event. So events are normally on Saturday. So tonight, for example, is a practice. If I had an event coming up, this would be my final serious workout. Now peaking, you're also changing things up to be a little more specific. In gym training, you're pushing yourself a little harder, you're training with a little more intensity into a certain point, and then you stop. With practice, you are possibly not training as hard, but you're being more specific in your movements. You're practicing your starts, you're practicing your goes. You're doing stuff that would give guys a little bit more uh, advantage as far as technique goes. So you're training the stuff that guys need to pay attention to in the actual arm wrestling tournament that they're going to, they're going to be in. Instead of just grip and rip and do king of the table and all that stuff all day long, you're going to be more specific in your training. You're going to practice setups, you're going to practice starts, you're going to practice goes with different cadences. And then I get to the Thursday about nine days before the event and I stop training in the gym and I have my very last practice and that nine days is now rest. Now the one or two days that I might throw in there is an ultra, ultra light and I mean like stuff that you guys wouldn't want to be seen lifting in the gym kind of light. Um, just getting blood into the muscles. That's it. Get your pump. Get some blood in the muscles, try to get some blood around the tendons, get a massage and just rest and eat and get my nutrition on point. So in ketosis and a ketogenic diet that I'm following, I may go off the ketogenic diet, but not until the night before the tournament and I have my carb load then. Um, and that's all I do guys. Train my ass off, try to hit personal bests on the week that I am going to stop my training, push myself a little bit beyond what I normally would do, have a nice practice, and then I stop. And I rest, and I eat, and I do active rest, which is the workout I told you about with light, light weight just for blood in the muscles. And that's it. You can make it as complicated or as simple as you want. Some guys just follow their normal routine and they just pick a day that they're going to stop training and rest. That's good too as long as you've trained all the specifics you need to do in the tournament. So if you guys in your practices are, are killing it and they feel super strong and they get their ass kicked in the tournament by guys they shouldn't, then you gotta reevaluate while you're training your guys. Are you training the setups? How did they lose? What happened? Did they completely miss the go? Because if you don't practice a go in, a, in the actual practice, it's gonna be foreign to you. You're gonna wait for someone to hit into your arm and then you're gonna power up from there and by that time the match is over. So everything's got to make sense, everything's got to be in synergy, and uh, 
I hope you understood everything I said here today and it makes sense to you. If it doesn't, please post the comments in the section below and I will get back to you with answers in a future video. Maybe a follow up to this one immediately if there's lots. If everything's good and you guys understand all of this, then we'll move on to the next subject. Tonight's training footage though will just be practice. Now normally I wouldn't have a practice this week, but I feel pretty good. Being in bed, I had a tournament last Saturday. So Spencer and I were at a tournament last Saturday. We should be doing some rest and recovery, but we did train this week. And uh, we trained because we were able to train. We weren't super sore, but we didn't hit arms directly. We did a light, kind of an active rest workout for hand, wrist, elbow flexors, and did my normal back and shoulder routine. And tomorrow we're gonna bench. But uh, tonight is practice, we'll see how we feel. It might be a light practice for us, but maybe not, we'll see how it goes. I feel pretty good right now, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Is it good? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. You're not holding on. Uh, I'll hold on. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, tired. Uh, Clamp down on those fingers. Ah. How high is he? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Scissor hands. Really high? Yeah. <laughs> see, uh, see some yeah, knuckles there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Travis is a little. Ready, go. Oh. <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> keep your wrist no matter what, Jeff. Even if you have to lose the match, keep that wrist. Ready, go. Don't keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving up. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> 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 